the dragon here again and after seeing Shin Godzilla in the movie theater and I just thought I would just make this video for now and and also just to tell you guys like Shin Godzilla does not it it doesn't really messes up anything it, it's not as bad as you think it would be so basically this is showing off my Godzilla DVD collection as of now, but this will be solely the Godzilla DVDs. I do have some other Kaiju DVDs and a Godzilla mask as well as, well, three figures. I'm not going to show them for this video until, until I get a few things and then I'll do an update video. So yes, just Godzilla for now. And this is, as of now, my collection. So first, and I'm going to try to go in order two as possible. And first off, here's the 2012 Criterion Collection DVD for the original Godzilla film from 1954. And one, th and one thing... I find unique is that it's not your usual DVD casing. And in here there's like a little booklet that has an essay inside. And <clears throat> here are the two discs. Disc 1 which is the original Japanese version with English subtitles and number 2 with King of the Monsters, the American Edit ver edited version and for some reason this flip up right here is the Millennium Godzilla like it would have made more sense if they did the original 1954 Godzilla for this part but for some reason they just used a different version and another unique thing is that the back shows like the back of the Godzilla head so it's not entirely white so yeah, now it has some bonus features on there which are pretty good. The main reason why I would recommend this DVD is just purely because that the qual the video quality and the audio quality is pretty well done. Like they literally remastered both versions the original and the US edited version so yeah I would recommend finding this and next up and and next up is one moment go well again I will say I'll try to go in order as possible but thanks to this box set it'll be a little harder than that but anyway here's the Godzilla collection box set which includes some of the earlier Godzilla movies and such and this is basically like the first re-release like if you tried finding it now it will not have all these special cases just to let you know and let's get into the box. Next up we have the two, the original 2006 DVD from Classic Media for the original Godzilla movie. And, it, and the bonus features on this one is pretty good. The good information is why I also recommend this one. And, and not to forget, I would actually recommend getting both the 2012 DVD and the 2006 DVD. I would recommend getting both. Even though even though this has been re-released -re in a different case. And here's a little booklet inside. Pretty good. The original Japanese version and the US edited version. Again, it's two discs. And oops. <laughs> I forgot to put the booklet back in. So, yeah. So if I were you, 
get both of these, even though they have the same movie. This one for very good quality, and this one for pretty good information. And and I actually do have the 2014 re-release of this DVD, and I'll show you the, what the different cover looks like real quick. Uh, uh. Here's the re-release. It's not really much though. And the only main difference between the re-release and the 2014 re-release is that well, not just the different DVD cases, but the different logos at the beginning of it as well. But let's not waste any more time, shall we? Let's move on. Next up, we have Godzilla Raids again. This is like one of the more rare Godzilla movies. In fact, it's the very first one. And here it is, the disc itself, and the picture inside. And this is the first time Godzilla fights another monster, and the first time Gears appears. I would... I would recommend getting this, since it's a pretty rare Godzilla movie. However, I would advise not watching the English US edited dub of this one because well once you look it up you'll know why I have Godzilla for I have King Kong vs Godzilla somewhere but I don't know where it is right now but in the update video I will have it ready so let's just move on here we have Mothra vs Godzilla one of the <laughs> this is one of the one of the best ones and here's inside the cover and the picture because this is a pretty good Godzilla movie I would definitely recommend trying to get this DVD and also I forgot to say but the classic media DVDs they have both the like original Japanese version with the English subtitles and the US dubs on them and they literally have both versions with the video but and here we have Ghidorah the three-headed monster the first the first time Godzilla's rival appears Godzilla's arch nemesis King Ghidorah this is I would recommend finding this and Here's the inside with the disc and the picture. Looks pretty cool. And also before I move on, I just need to say is that this is the one Godzilla movie where I feel this is where King Ghidorah really stands out because where King Ghidorah could truly be truly be epic. And the reason why I say that is because this is like the only Godzilla movie where Ghidorah is the main antagonist because every other movie Ghidorah is in it's always aliens controlling King Ghidorah and that like literally almost in every single movie King Ghidorah is in he is controlled by aliens so in Ghidorah the three-headed monster he's not controlled by aliens that's where I feel Ghidorah really stands out and speaking of aliens, Invasion of Astro Monster, and the only and the only film in the franchise where Godzilla's ever been in space. And here's the inside. And there we go. And the next one. I would not recommend looking for Godzilla's Revenge. Enough said. Just, just 
No. The only reason you'll ever want to find this DVD is just a biography of Ashiro Honda, the original director of Godzilla. And finally, the last in the box set, which is the last movie in the first series, The Terror of Mechagodzilla. The final outing of the first series. And here's the inside. So, that's the box set right there. And holy snap, I spent 10 minutes already. And I haven't really gotten that completely deep yet. And okay, so next up. Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster, aka Ever Horror of the Deep. And even though this is one of the more weaker Godzilla movies, it's still a pretty silly, a little bit of a fun movie to watch. The one complaint, the two complaints I probably have about the movie is that one, Godzilla doesn't appear until and wakes or wakes up late until later in the film, and there's one guy in the movie who has an, anno an annoying voice in the dub. When you hear it, then you'll automatically understand. And next up is... Ugh, destroy All Monsters. And not only that, this copy of the DVD I have here is the one with the bonus features on it. Like, if you try getting it now, it will not have the bonus features at all. If, nor will it have the American, or nor will it have the American U.S. English dub on it, since this includes not only the U.S. English dub, but the international dub. So the re-release only has the international dub and the, the original Japanese version. So yeah, so this DVD is pretty rare. Not having just three versions, but the bonus features on it. In fact, this was the last copy at an FYE store I was at once just to look for new Godzilla DVDs. This was the last one in stock, and I was pretty lucky. Next up is Godzilla vs. Hedera. A.K.A. Godzilla vs. the Smog Monster, or what my mom likes to call it, Godzilla vs. the Shit Monster. I'm not joking. So yeah, and and oh snap, I forgot to show you the inside of my bad. Here's the inside of versus the Sea Monster. And and the inside of Destroy All Monsters. And the inside of the Smog Monster. Or the Shit Monster, whatever you want to call it, really. Usually, if I mess up, I'll do like a different take on my videos, but for this one, I'm not gonna do it since it's a lot of time doing this. And. Here we have Godzilla vs. Gigan. The first time, the first Godzilla movie where Godzilla bleeds. And, and the first time Gigan ever appeared. And, and I know a certain kaiju who would like to see Gigan. And here's the inside. I know the Kraken releasing DVDs kind of look the same with the disc covers, but I just, I just kind of want to show you guys because other videos on YouTube where people show off their Godzilla DVD collection, they just show kind of like the front covers and just move on and that's it. So I want to show you the cover of the discs so that way you know what they look like. Ugh. And next we have Godzilla vs. Megalon. The one with Jet Jaguar in it. And here's the inside. And and also, this will like destroy all monsters. The re-release doesn't have the bonus features. And 
how I was lucky with destroying monster skinning bonus features, I'm not too lucky with the bonus features here. So, yeah. Next up is one of the newer Godzilla DVDs. In fact, I got a couple of copies. Godzilla 1984, or The Return of Godzilla. Now, this DVD here is the, is the new Godzilla DVD that came out, which completes the all the Godzilla movies being on DVD in the U.S. thing. So, yes. And this DVD isn't... Didn't came out not too long ago. It just came out about last month. And there's the cover. And this and this DVD, not only if it has the original Japanese version with the English subtitles, but it also includes the international dub. However, it does not include 1985, which is the U.S. American re-edit. And speaking of which... Da -da -da. Speaking of which, I know it's here somewhere. Ah, oh, there it is. So anyway, before the Kraken releasing DVD that I got, I bought this from a website called sumogorilla.com because I was kind of desperate to watch the movie at the time. And it has, and also in case you're wondering, I wrote the letters on here. They, the discs were blank, so with the covers, so I was able to watch the original Japanese version with English subtitles, but I think the Kraken releasing DVD had better subtitles than this one here. And it also came with a second disc, which just happens to include Godzilla 1985, the US edited version. So yes. So technically, I have the original Japanese version, the international dub, and the U.S. version on DVD, and watch them. And before I even got those, I think I have a Region 3 disc of The Return of Godzilla somewhere, but I never really used it. So, next up, we have a fan favorite. Godzilla vs. Biollante. This is one of my favorite Godzilla movies. It's interesting in many ways. And here's the inside of it. And yeah, that I like this cover right here. And know how some Godzilla DVDs would have dub titles? This will not only have subtitles that translate the original Japanese version, but it also has dub titles. So, yeah. So not only if it has the original Japanese version on there with the audio and such, it also has the international English dub on there, but they kind of took the dub off of an old VHS that when it came out in the U.S. In fact, there's a Lionsgate 2014 re-release of the DVD. Which you could see there's no first time on DVD thing and the Merrimax logo is kind of absent, but it's still there in a way. And and I just kind of bought it out of curiosity to see if they changed anything and there's only two changes. One, they replaced the Echo Bridge logo with the Lionsgate logo when you put it in, and second was the covers. Really Lionsgate you had to get rid of that good cover that was on the original 2012 DVD release. <sighs> so, that's it. And next up. <sighs> Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah and Godzilla vs. Mothra The Bow for Earth. The first double feature and it's a double-sided disc, so, yeah. And this is one of the oldest Godzilla DVDs out there, and, and it's most likely in most collections. 
And one of my main complaints about this DVD is that it was in full screen. Because, well, if a movie was originally made in full screen, then I'm okay with that. But if it was made in widescreen and had the sides cut out, then you wouldn't get the whole picture. And next up, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2. And no, it is not a sequel to the original vs. Mechagodzilla. The 2 was just placed there just to avoid confusion. And here's the inside. There you go. And then Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla and Godzilla vs. Destroyer. And you already know the sad thing about vs. Destroyer with Godzilla's death. And here's the inside, double sided again. And here is Godzilla 2000. Again, probably in most collections. And then there's Godzilla vs. Megaguirus. And here's the inside. Usually I have the discs in their right order, but for some reason they seem to slide a little. Next up, Giant Monsters All Out Attack. And the special effects for this one is pretty amazing, especially with the fight scenes. However, the story I'm not too keen about. First off, this was this is the first and only Godzilla movie where Godzilla is literally pure evil, having the so having the lost souls of World War II soldiers making Godzilla and then King Ghidorah a good guy for some reason. I just don't know why. <laughs> And, and Godzilla against Mecha Godzilla. In here. And then the only sequel in the Millennium series, Godzilla Tokyo SOS. Here's the inside. And then finally, and finally, we have Godzilla Final Wars. And this is a crazy one. And there you go. And, and, oh wait, there's just one more DVD I forgot. Here's a Korean bootleg disc of Godzilla vs. the Shit Monster. <laughs> and your and the reason why I got this was because like with the TriStar DVDs being about one hundred dollars on Amazon, I was like I was like this is probably the only way I'll ever get to see it. And after I bought it, like I was like I'm finally gonna watch it and only to find out a few hours later that the crack and releasing DVDs were pre-order. <laughs> I know. It's amazing what things when things can happen. So yeah. These are my Godzilla DVD collection as of now. Now, as I said, I do have other DVDs, but I won't do them until like an updated version of the video. And it, and, as you can already tell, I am missing three Godzilla movies on DVD, but I have seen them. There's Son of Godzilla, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla from 1974, and obviously Shin Gojira, but it hasn't really came out on DVD yet, so... 
that's my collection as of now. And in the, in the update video, I'll show all my kaiju DVDs and the Godzilla mask I have, as well as the three or four figures I have of Godzilla. And that's about it. And also maybe next time I would do also do a Transformers DVD collection I have. And they're kind of scattered, so... But I do have a container that has them. So, that's it for now. Check out the dragon. Out! And also, I would do recommend to see Shin Godzilla. It's not as bad as you thought it would be. But, be ready to see more pictures from me. Yeah. <laughs>